represent and name fractions on a number line. I can represent and name fractions on a number line. I can identify, describe, represent, and locate fractions on a number line. Michaela works for the Park Service. They're all over the United States there in National Park. And they have people that look like, dress like her, that work there. They're kind of like the police of the state parks. Her job is to place trail markers on the trail from the ranger station to Baldy Mountain. So when you go to National Parks, you can go on hikes. And there's usually a place where the trail starts and where it's going to end. And so they're saying she's going from a ranger station to Baldy Mountain. The markers should be placed at locations that mark one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths, and four-fourths of the distance from the ranger station to Baldy Mountains. So each of Michaela's markers on a number line label the distance of each marker from the ranger station. Okay, so we've used number lines lots of times. They're kind of like a ruler, right? So this one shows a zero at the ranger station. The zero is for her starting point. Okay, and Coral Mountain is using one. Baldy Mountain. One represents the place where she wants to end up. Okay. Once you get there, you have hiked the whole trail that she's marking. So one hole. So we're supposed to mark one four, two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths. So what's the best way I'm supposed to find one fourth or something? When we're dividing change and fourth, what do we do? First, we mark the halfway, right? Just so we keep it kind of equal here. Then if we mark one in between there, we've divided it into pretty good fourths. So where are we going to put one fourth? The first line after the zero. Okay, so one fourth. What are we going to put? And the next one, two fourths. Two fourths. And the next one, four fourths. Four fourths. Okay. Four fourths. What do you notice about where the four fourths is and what are the numbers in that they have on the number line? The one, right? Four fourths. So four fourths is equal to we've walked our four parts of the trail. So we've done one whole trail. So anytime you have a fraction on the denominator and the numerator on the same line, it's equal to one. So the denominator and the numerator are the same number, it's equal to one. Oh, I already to repeat that. When the denominator and the numerator are the same number, that is equal to 1. Okay? Go ahead and go to your next page. On the way to school, Leo stopped at Blackberry Pond. What fraction... Of one mile distance to school has Leo gone? Complete the fractions on the number line. What does this denominator tell us about the chunks of number line? That there are six of them. We can count them, right? We can say one, two, three, four, five, six chunks, right? So if I go to this line, how far have I went on my trail? One-sixth one of the way. Maybe we should answer these questions at the bottom. Into how many equal lengths is the whole mile divided? What did we say? Was our denominator six? 
which part of the fractions has the number of equal links in the whole? The numerator or the denominator? Which part of the fraction shows the number of equal links? The numerator or the denominator? This part here that tells us how many chunks it is. So your first answer here is the denominator. Please write that. It's in on your paper. It's right here. Okay. Okay, and then there's a second question there that says which part of the fraction shows the number of equal links you are counting? Which part is that? The numerator. Okay, it says which part of the fraction shows the number of equal links in the whole? The denominator. Which part of the fraction shows the number of equal links you are counting? The numerator. Let's go ahead and fill in our number line. I thought they'd ask this too. Okay, so how many after one six? We went one. If we go to this line, we went how many six? And if we keep going, we went. And one more is. And one more is. Until we get all the way to our one hole as he was going to school is six, six. And remember our question is what fraction of the mile, one mile distance, to school has Leo gone if he's gone to Blackberry Pond? So here's Blackberry Pond. What is that? Four six. Four six. Okay, so it says, locate and draw a point on the number line to show the distance from Leo's home to Blackberry Pond. So here we found it. This is the distance. What fraction represents one equal length of the whole? One equal length of the whole is one six. They're talking about these little, if I only have one of these little sections, I only have one six. What fraction, what fraction means the distance from Leo's pond to Blackberry Pond? What did we say? Four sixths, right? He's four sixths of the way to school if he stops at Blackberry Pond. What fraction does point A show? And be careful here. How many spaces do we have? One, three, four. So what is this one? Three fourths. Three fourths. Cut into how many equal links is this divided? What did I say? One, two, three, four. So four. How many equal links are being counted to point A? Three. So what is the fraction? Three of the four parts. It switched to four so when it got to problem two, it did a different number line. Okay. Everybody got that? Okay, please go on to the next page. And then on the end, count. Sorry, we had some technical difficulty. Anya and Kat walk from home to a local history museum. When they are one third of the way to the museum, they stop at the library. What is important about this sentence? When they are one third of the way to the museum, they stop at the library. The one third, particularly the three part, right? What does that three tell us? 
We're going to divide our line into the three pink parts. They stop again if you read their library books at the park. When they are two-thirds of the way to the museum, complete the number line to show how to represent these distances. So you're going to just have to give it your best eye. We already said that three tells us we're dividing it into three parts. Okay. And here's one-third of the way. They stop at a museum. On the way to the museum, they stop at the library. They stop again to read their library books at the park when they are two-thirds of the way to the museum. Complete the number line to show how to represent these distances. So your number line should look something like that. So again, that denominator tells us how many pieces we're dividing that number line into. Okay. I want you to go ahead and complete the check your understanding. It says complete the number line, label the fractions, locate and draw a point on the number line at 5 eighths. The bottom part says write the fraction that names points E and F. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right, so on the check your understanding, we want you to go ahead and fill in these fractions. So we have 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths. Five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. Then they want you to make a mark, a, a dot at five eighths. And on the bottom, you just need to look point E. If you one, six, two, six, so this would be three, six. This would be four, six. Five sixths and sixths. So point E is three six. Point F is four six. Okay, it says complete the number line, label the fractions, locate and draw a point on the number line to show the width of Reese's poster. So the the thing will be divided into four parts. One, two, three, four parts. So we knew our denominator was four plus they gave it to us. So we went in one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and they wanted us to mark two fourths. On number five, they did not tell you how many parts. So you needed to count the spaces. There are six of them. So the first point is at two six, and the second point is at five six. On the bottom, since Izzy marks the number line, did you go eight? What is the fraction that is located halfway between six and eight to eight? Well, 7 is halfway between 6 8 and 8 8. So it is 7 8 because 7 is halfway between 6. And we're going to look at 3 and 4 on our homework next. Okay, we're looking at the homework problem 3 and 4. Paloma says 3 6 and 3 8 are equivalent because both are located 3 marks from 0 on the number line. Is she correct? No, she is not correct because 8 are smaller parts than six. If I divide a pan of brownies into eight, the pieces are going to be smaller than the six. Okay, so there's your explanation. The bottom one says Columbia ran eight laps around a track to run a total of one mile on Monday. How many laps will she need to run on Tuesday to run five eighths of a mile? Okay, so one Eight, one little fractional move on that number line, well, each space is one mile, okay, or one eighth of a mile. So to get to five eighths, he's gonna, she's going to have to run five laps. 